news you can trust. This is South Vermillion Middle School News. With Alicia Glenn and Amelia Gibson, Luke Ferrari, Braxton Idlewine, Mia Turkey, Joseph Watts, and, and Vinny Goldwatt. This is your weekly news. Good afternoon, Wildcats. I'm Amelia Gibson. And I'm Alicia Glenn. And welcome to WCMS News. Only two weeks till spring break. I can't wait. Now, let's get to our news. Listen up, 8th grade. This week you will be meeting with high school counselors to prepare for high school scheduling. The robotics team will be in the competition Saturday. Good luck, Wildcat bots. Now let's hear from Luke and Braxton for sports. The 6th grade girls basketball team won their first game in the Banks of the Wabash Tournament. Unfortunately, they were defeated in the championship. The 7th and 8th grade girls will play tonight against Park Heritage. Good luck, good luck and let's take out the Wolves. The swim team has a meet against Northridge tomorrow, a meet against Seeger on Thursday, and an invitational on Saturday. All of these events are at home. The wrestling team will have home action against Seeger tonight. Then they will be traveling to South Putt. Good luck, boys. Our dance team had regionals last Saturday. Good job, dancers. Way to get that groove on, ladies. Now let's send it over to Mr. Kilgore for fact of the day. On this day in 1820, Congress passed into law the Missouri Compromise, which brought in the states of Missouri and Maine to keep the slave state and free state balance in the Senate. Now let's send it over to Joseph, who's going to share more about this week's survey. For our survey of the week, we asked the students, if you had to scrap all social media except one, which would you keep? Fifth place, be real with five votes. I have no idea what that is. Fourth place is Instagram with six votes. I do not know what, like, if you take photos and just post them? I mean, what is that? Third place is Facebook with 13 votes. I mean, once we were at a restaurant and I wanted the banana brownie recipe for my mother, and dad said, look at Facebook, look, it has the recipe. Second place is TikTok, which I have heard some about. And number one is Snapchat. I really thought that was going to TikTok since loads of people are on it, but apparently it's going to Snapchat. See? See what we'll both <laughs> Thanks, Joseph, for those results. Now we'll send it over to Mia for the weather. This week's weather is looking gloomy. Cloudy skies and a slight chance of rain ahead. It will get a little chilly at night, but it will be between the 40s and 50s during the day. This week, we interviewed Miss Jo. First question is, what is your favorite book? My favorite book would probably be, um, well, I like hundreds of books. There's probably a thousand books in my house right now. But I would say some of my favorites would be The Fountainhead and Gone for Good, really anything by Harlan Coleman. Your favorite hobby? My favorite hobby? I like to do crafts of just about any kind. And I like to hunt for rocks. Um, I have a lot of hobbies. Tell us about your dog. Um, my dog, Zeta, is a rescue. Um, I go to Frimothy Humane Society. She's mostly German Shepherd. Um, she's got lots of energy. Um, she can sort of climb trees. And I walk her about two miles a day. Your new adventure in acting. Um, I recently... Uh, I was never in um, theater or anything like that when I was in school, but I recently thought that it might be fun, so um, I saw something for the community theater in Terre Haute, and I went and um, tried out and got a part. What do you wish all students knew? Um, I wish all students knew that life is what you make it. So if you find something that you like, find time to do it. Um, you know, you always have to do work uh, and stuff like that. But middle school and high school is not the best time in your life. So try to keep that in mind, and that will save you a lot of heartache in the future. That's a wrap for this week's WCMS broadcast. I'm Amelia Gibson. And I'm Alicia Gwynn. We will now end this week's program with Vinny attempting to make Mr. Fig giggle. Vinny is currently 0 for 8. If Vinny goes 0 for 10, Vinny will receive a punishment. Hey, Mr. Fig. Hey, Vinny. Did you hear about the Italian chef that died? No. He pasta away. <laughs> She says we gotta hold on to what we got. It doesn't make a difference if we make it or not.
We've got each other and that's a lot for love. We'll give it a shot. Whoa, we're halfway there. Whoa, leave it on a prayer. Take my hands, we'll make it, I swear. Whoa, leave it on a prayer. Take two. Thanks, Joseph, for those with the salt. <laughs> Ready? Take one. Thanks, Joseph. For That's your round. It's me. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Get it's the color. I just saw the A. Ready? Alicia, get better. On this day in 1820, the Missouri Compromise was signed into law, which brought in the state of Missouri and the state of Maine to keep the Vinny. Vinny walked out. No. Wait. <laughs>